Chances are, in the fall of 2012, your bank's website was taking extraordinary abuse from the DDoS attack known as Operation Ababil. There's a lot of attackers out there that uh, want to bring um, large institutions down. I'm Domingo Ponce, Director of the Americas for Akamai Security Operations Center. When I started, we were fighting Anonymous. There was a lot of hacktivist type of attacks, and now we're fighting state-sponsored stuff. Though the attacks were some of the largest ever recorded, as much as 10 to 20 times the volume of traffic normally seen, Akamai deflected the illegitimate traffic onslaught and thwarted widespread disruption. Everybody was a little bit excited because, you know, when you get threats out there, you wonder if it's going to be legit or if it's not going to be legit. And uh, when the attack started coming in, you know, the sock was, OK, here it's happening. Perhaps more disturbing than its size was its method. Instead of exploiting individual computers, attackers enslaved thousands of high-powered servers, linked them together into a botnet army, and instructed them to attack. Before, it was just normal sin floods that could get mitigated by a simple challenge mechanism because it's spoofed, it's a fake IP address. It was the first time we've seen a botnet that size that was legitimately sending traffic out and, and responding to our challenge mechanisms. Whenever zero-day attacks come in and there's something out there that's brand new, we find a means to mitigate it, we find a countermeasure and we put it in. Anybody who's being protected by us is now going to be protected for that particular attack. At the end of the day, what it's all about is about fighting attacks and coming out on top, you know, winning. <laughs>